Gotta be faster than that, Crow. Ugh, I can only get as fast as these things. So we do. Oh, if you're gonna be outside without a mask on, you need to at least. Eyes on. Two o'clock. Line them up. Do you have anything? No. Hello? Hello? Please. Uh, I don't want to hurt you. Step away from the door. Not that you're positive, we're not going to let you in. I'm not. See? Uh, no lesions. No no rash. I'm negative, I'm, I swear. I've still got all my teeth. See? We have no wares. We have nothing to trade. We have no food water for ourselves. There's a settlement 40 miles to the southeast of the quarantine zone. You can go there if you wish, but we can't help you. I, I'm coming inside. You, you can't stay awake forever. Open the door and nothing will- One more step of ground put you down in the dirt. Bro! Buddy. If you keep doing this, you die now, okay? You walk away, you keep breathing. The choice is yours, it makes no difference to us. It's glorified. See? Not worth the bullets. Right, so we'll just uh, let it wander around then, eh? With our luck, we'll find someone who doesn't have one of these things, and like two of them on our doorstep tomorrow. He's not gonna run into anyone else. He'll die soon. Oh, well, that's great then. We'll just leave it to uh, wander around, bleed out the ears, and get his eyes pecked up by the birds. Yep, you know, sounds like the perfect way to go. You're on cleaning. You know, you can't just throw chores at me every time you lose an argument. I can't. For a restaurant? Yeah. Didn't eat out much. Oh. Favorite vacation spot? Place is a place. Doesn't make much difference to me. Huh. Favorite TV show? Come on now. Watch the news? That's about it. Wow. You must have been great at party. <laughs> what is that? Favorite song? I guess you could say that. We're gonna have to get you a new CD. Oh, I swear you've played this song every night for the past two weeks. I've only been here two weeks. Feels like a hell of a lot longer. Oh. So, you used to be what? A cowboy? 
with an affinity for electrical engineering. Pretty much. Come here. <clears throat> Should not have this way. All right. What do we got? So, I just attached a door switch from a microwave. Basically, what that's gonna do is that's gonna trigger the sensor when the catch comes into contact with the virus. Simple enough. Okay. How uh, come these things are going crazy right now? Then with the blood I just scrubbed off the window. Well, there's a number of reasons for that. Um, the first being that the virus is pneumonic, which we've been over. Basically, that means that the virus can be spread through the respiratory droplets that are expelled when a host is breathing out their mouth or nose. Um, but what makes this virus so dangerous is basically that it can survive in the moisture in the air as well. Now, that being said, the virus doesn't live very long without a living host, so basically the number of pathogens drops significantly the further away you get from the infected. Now, as dandy as that may be, that means that these only work when coming in contact with a living host. If there's a dead host, or if the virus is on an inanimate object, we don't get any pings, no warning. Um, but the reason I still need you to wear a mask when you're scrubbing the blood is in case, you know, you're scrubbing and you accidentally knock loose some particles and you maybe, perhaps, ingest... <clears throat> Are you, are you listening? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Don't breathe it in. Don't get blood on your skin. Easy. Hi there, this is Locust. Go ahead. We still a go for the drop? Yeah, affirmative. We'll be at the pickup in 48 hours. Rock and roll, bitches. Locust out. You ready to go tomorrow? Yep. Rainy as ever. How many indicators got to trade this time? Seven. Hey, it's two more than last time. That's not enough. What do you mean? We got plenty of stock for that. I'm doing it for more than just the supplies, bro. Look, Utter. We've been over this. You can't save everyone. But, you do more than most people out here. Most people can't even keep themselves alive let alone others. These things, they ain't gonna help the Grinners. Best thing we can do for them is just put them out of their misery. What is it with you? What, you just wanna kill as many infected as possible? Is that why you came out here? No. Tell you one thing though, if that was me out there, I'd want it over in an instant. Wouldn't wanna drag my death out over a few years. Honestly, we're doing them a favor. Okay, you know what, it, it is a horrible death, all right? And it's drawn out, yeah. But, but not giving them a choice in how they die is not doing them any favors, all right? It's not like we're dealing with some kind of deer on the side of the goddamn road here. These are human beings, all right? And if I can't help them, then I don't need to fucking hurt them either, okay? I'm sorry. No, uh, you're right. What? You're right. You can't help them. Crow. Either. You want to help people, save people, and that's great. But that's just it. You can only help the living. Let me take care of the ones who are already dead.
I know. I do, that's a grinner. Yeah, not aggressive. In fact, he's lived the longest of any effect that I've ever seen. Usually they can't talk at this point. Just don't touch him. Daddy, Ned. Well, now where are you boys off to? Yeah, we're going on a supply run. If you need anything. What are you doing? It's all right. Can't take much, but uh, might be able to get you some new line for that rod if you need it. Don't burn yourselves. Well, all right. We'll be back this way in about two days' time. See what I can do. And happy trails to you. Nice enough guy. Comes up here when the fish is good. Didn't realize you had any other friends. Other friends? Are you uh, implying that you and I are friends, Crow? No. Good. Locus, this is Crow, you there? Okay, okay. We are at checkpoint, ready when you are. Better start talking quick, Eider. You gave me faulty shit. What? My acid alerts you when grinners are around. Might as well jump in a six foot hole and save him the effort. You remember to turn it on after you charged it? Do you remember to take your pants off before you take a shit wise ass? Fuck you, I know how it works. But then this thing started making a humming sound, confused the living hell out of me. Meanwhile, a grinner managed to climb through the goddamn window. Well, you seem fine now. What'd you do? Fucking smashed its face open with a toilet lid and then left it there. Unpleasant surprise for the next guy, but I really don't like cleaning bathrooms. Okay, look, Logist, uh, I explained this at the last drop. Uh, it's, it's, it's a new feature that I added. It's called the kill hum. Uh, it's a hum that goes off when you're within 15 meters of an infected, 100% chance of infection. Before, you only got a ping at 200 meters, and that's, you know, no good. You don't get a warning. So, you knew this already. I explained it. Do you know how fucked up I was last time we met? If you want me to remember something, you got to say at least three times, pal. Including now? So I could uh, repeat that three times if you'd like. No, not now, dumbass. I'm sober. No, you're not. Mostly sober. You caught me in the eye of the storm. All I'm trying to say is I'm not looking to get fucked over. And I'm not trying to do that, okay? 
Look, you're not going to get these indicators from anyone else. And only a few weeks can go by of eating rabbit and deer before a man starts shitting dust, all right? We need each other. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that hint of sentimentality in your voice and agree with you. But even one of those is faulty, I'm going to find you and I'm going to cut your ear off in your sleep. <laughs> Both of you. Is that clear? Back to business. And on today's menu, 300 rounds of 22s, 100 rounds of 30 odd six, 50 rounds of 45s, a dozen grenades. Those are new and I'm very proud of them. And of course, we've got the usual selection of canned gourmet goods and a few bottles of assorted meds. I can go into some harder pills if you'd like, but y'all seem like the clean type to me. Got any CDs? No. Ammo and food will be fine, thank you. Oh, one more thing. Black cherry bourbon, if you will. Holy mother of God. These things are harder to find than a grinner with good teeth. It's a once in apocalypse opportunity, fellas. Thank you, but like I said, food and ammo. <laughs> Ider, if we don't live every once in a while, what's the point of even keeping ourselves alive? Not food. Grinner? No, he was clean. Got some lacerations to the head here. Looks like enough blunt force to crack the skull. And a gunshot wound. Maybe a sawed off, judging by the spread. What do you think, military police? Nah, they wouldn't have wasted their bullets on somebody like this. Fair enough. I wouldn't either. It's a little disrespectful, don't you think? I'm sorry. You think he'll forgive me? <laughs> you know, that could just as well be either of us next time. Yeah, the world would keep on turning. So you don't ever think about that? Ever crosses your mind? No, it doesn't. Look, we both lost too much, fought too hard trying to keep ourselves alive. Going on death, waste of energy. You know, I got somewhere I'd like to show you. Before we take a little detour. Yeah. Always love this spot. Didn't come here much though, it was always so busy, you know, people with their dogs, teenagers, tourists, families. Locus is gonna be so pissed. If she remembers. Wish you won't. So cheers to that, bud. Exactly. <sighs> well, you don't like it? No, I just gotta be careful. A little too fond of this stuff back in the day. Really? Yeah. 
Doesn't do much for me now, though. <laughs> it's a curious thing that I had to lose it all to snap out of it. You know, nine to five job, wife, kid, manicured lawn. He didn't strike me as a family man. Yeah, wife and a daughter. Where are they now? Gone. Just like everything else. What happened? Well, I was out of town doing a guest lecture at some shithole community college. Shit, I don't even know what I was doing out there. But uh, they were coming home on the highway. And I should pick my daughter up from school or something. And the guy in front of them went over the divider. Black ice, I guess it was January. And uh, my wife got out and pulled him from the wreckage. Saved his life. But uh, he was positive. So uh, she picked it up that night. Passed it on to my daughter the next day, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway. Last time I saw him was through a two inch pane of glass. Plastic bags and machines all over him. I couldn't even kiss him goodbye. Just a hurried farewell over an intercom. <laughs> I don't even know if they heard it. Sorry. Yeah, don't be. This life was always a lot easier for me. Simple, you know? <laughs> Simple, maybe. I would have to say my quality of life has definitely gone down since I met you. <laughs> At least you're alive. Uh, hey, what about you? I think you might here for a reason. I'm looking for somebody. Who is it? <sighs> friend, uh, Lily. Girlfriend? We're engaged. What happened? Nah, well, the virus broke out. She came out this way with her folks. Wanted to get away from the city, I guess. Which is fine, but, you know, cell towers went down pretty quick right after that. And that was it. Lost each other. You know. Sometimes I'm afraid that I've given up on her. That I've just accepted the fact that she's gone. I mean, hell, it's been over three years since the breakout and I still haven't found her. I know she's out here somewhere, but after all this time, what are my chances really? But then there are moments moments when I remember how sweet it was to be by her side every day. How happy she made me. And then I think to myself, maybe it's not even her I'm looking for anymore, you know? Maybe I'm just chasing a dream. A dream where I was happy. A dream where for a brief moment in time. Everything was going my way. Ah, who knows what the truth is anyways though, eh? All I know is, I still love her. So I guess I can't give up on her yet. You surprised me, Crow. Eh? I hear I was thinking there was nary a soul behind those eyes of yours. But here I find myself a sweet, sensitive, young lassie. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, I can see why she wants to marry you. The soul of a romantic, that's what you got. Yeah, well, 
don't get used to it. After this stuff wears off, I can get back to my regular schedule of moping around all day and killing things. <laughs> Good. Good. <clears throat> you know, I think this might be it. Hmm? You asked me why we keep ourselves alive. I think this is it. Ever since you left me, I can't control my tears. You told me you were here to stay, but, but you quit, quit loving me, dear. And now it's time. A little wake till dawn, Lord, take my pain. My heart's been broke too long. Howdy. Hider. Got something for you? Oh, you didn't have to do that. That's no problem. The uh, right kind? I'm sorry, Eider. I'm sorry. Everybody put your hands up right now! Oh, oh. Fish on hook, boys! Hey, hey, weapons down! I had no choice. You boys have some presents for me. No, I've been making a wish list. I want food, I want guns, and I want pills. <laughs> I've been a real good boy this year. So I want to get just what I want. Now I understand you're the man that makes these fun little toys. Save my sweet ass a few times, I'll have you know. Good one, Ida. Good to know your text being used by these idiots. I don't like the way you look at me, boy. Don't. You got some balls on you, kid. Wouldn't mind keeping them for myself. Now, which one do you want to lose first? The right or the left? Looks like we got some company, boys. You two better scurry off before these grinners have their way with you. But leave your packs over our dead bodies. Not mine, thank you. Look, I noticed your boys don't have indicators, okay? I'll give you mine, I'll build you, I'll build you one, okay? How's that sound? It'll be more beneficial than anything we have in any of our packs, I promise. Fine. Hand it over. Slowly. There.
Fuck. Oh my god. Oof. Crow! No, no, Crow, stop! Crow! Don't touch her! She's infected! Stop right Jesus! Stop! Crow, don't make me do this! Come on! Crow! Crow! Don't be an idiot! She was infected. She could have killed you. What are you doing? Jesus, go! Oh, don't do this! Look, Crow, everyone has lost something, okay? You're not an exception. You're just not! <laughs> you think you're God because you made these things? Because you get to decide who dies? You know, for someone who preaches mercy killings, and treats infected like goddamn animals. You're sure quick to change your mind when it's someone you care about. According to you, I did her fucking favor. Good, like my family isn't gonna bring yours back. <laughs> Crow, Crow, come on, buddy. Come on, Crow. Shit. Come on. Uh, Jesus. Uh, 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 come on, Crow. Oh, oh.
I'm so sorry. Stop. Ider, I'm, I'm sorry if I hadn't... No, I, I don't want to do that. What? Apologies, blame. Let's just be human for a minute. Let it all go. Maybe you're right, maybe I... I just wanted to help people. Maybe that wasn't enough. You can't ask me to do that. I can't do it myself, Crow. Please just help me out. But I'm I'm tired. Bro. Don't make me beg for this. Just don't tell me when, okay? I hope your heart stays happy And that your soul stays free But if you ever need a friend You can always count on me Bye-bye till the end It's time to travel on or take my place my heart's been broke too long